the jump test. We follow the protocol from Top End Sport for the jump test. Health and safety procedures. There are two fire exits in the gym, both either ends of the room. There was a qualified first aider present as well as another located in the building. A first aid box was present at all times during the exercise. A phone was also present in case of emergency. In the jump test, there needs to be a clear area around the client for them to jump in order to avoid collisions. Attached to the jump mat, there is an electrical wire which should be put out of the way of the client in order to prevent injury. The purpose of the test. This is an anaerobic test. The purpose of the jump test is to collect data on the power and strength of the client's legs. What client is this exercise most suited to? The jump test is specific to our client as her position in football requires multiple jumps throughout the game to win the ball for her team, as found by Soccer Universe 2012. Therefore, testing the strength of her legs will show how high she would be able to jump to reach the ball. Validity and reliability of the jump test. There may be an issue with validity as the test was conducted inside on the jump mat. However, to be more specific to the sport that the client participates in, the test could have been run outside on a grass terrain. In a game situation, the subject would be contesting for the ball against an oppo opponent, therefore may have increased motivation and drive to jump higher for the ball. The test was conducted three times in order to collect reliable data which shows an average value. The jump test provides reliable data as scientific equipment was used such as a jump mat which provides an accurate reading. The protocol for the jump test starts with the mat being switched on. The participant then steps onto the mat. The subject bends her knees in a 90 degree angle and jumps up in a vertical position. As she jumps up, her arms swing forward. As she lands back onto the mat, a reading, a reading is taken. We compared the results to normative data of adult females. The highest value the participant scored was 39.9 centimetres. This puts the subject in the average category of 31 to 40 centimetres, according to Top End Sport 2010.